Hello, in this video, I will talk about uh, twin spindle, uh, lathe, uh, 10 mil, over here, main spindle, sub spindle. Uh, let me um, hide the sheet metal. Okay, you have uh, main spindle, sub spindle, uh, turn up that can move in X, Y, and Z. I uh, will uh, start building a kinematic chain uh, starting from the left hand side. We'll go all the way. Insert machine component. Uh, give it a machine base. Always make sure you do underscore. Okay, select this component for the junction. Give it a machine underscore zero axis. It looks good to me. Axis pointing out this one. This is the main reference that we had to use for the machine zero. Okay, now let's insert machine component. Main spindle base. Let's create a sub spindle base. Okay. Insert. Now we'll go into the slides. Let's say Z slide. Okay, now underneath each one of those components, we'll uh, put in all the, the main components. Let's go to main uh, spindle base, insert, machine component. It's going to be a main spindle. Give it as a late spindle. Once you give a late spindle, you have more drop down option. You know, for the, the FANUC G1718 uh, plane, uh, we always work in uh, for a um, lathe uh, mode, you know, 10 more lathe work plane, ZX. Let's pick it up. Okay, same thing uh, underneath this one, insert, machine component, main, chuck, gonna be a setup element. So in this one, let's go back and select the components what we needed. Okay, insert, edit, insert axis, give it a C1 axis. Be rotary. It's going to be now we are setting up an axis for main spindle uh, contouring C axis. Copy it and paste it underneath this one. So make sure you adjust it. Oops, it's the wrong one. Okay, so we need to make sure the is zero. What junction there is? Okay, Let's select it now. Okay, now for the sub spindle, we do the insert. Spindle, it's going to be a lead spindle. Same thing, pick it up. Z explain. I need this insert in component. Sub either a call it, check whatever you put it up. You can put it up in this one. Set up element. Insert. Edit component. I think we should look at a Let's select this one for a sub spindle base. We need to select so when you do the part transfer, when you do all the programming on the main spindle, uh, once you're done with the main spindle, when you give the command to command for the sub spindle to come pick up the part and do the cutoff, take it back to the sub spindle, do all the backside operation. That's when uh, this the whole slide will uh, run on this the, uh, the slide. So we need to pick up all those components for uh, this. Okay, now for this we got it, this we got it, okay, so we need to give it a, give it an axis for this one, insert axis, it's going to be a C2, okay, last time we didn't pick up the right, make sure you pick it around, put it around, around Z, unlimited, okay, 
copy this one. Save it out. Okay. Okay, now we need to give it an insert axis. You need W axis. So you need to come up uh, this way. Okay, so we need to make sure that it's in a Okay, it's gonna be. So when you go to analyze, go to the distance, do the projected distance, pick up the from the, the main MCS, the main uh, mission zero is selected from here to the face of the chart. That's where the, the assembly model as it is, whatever it comes in. You need to find out all those distance to figure out the number. It's going to be a one one four zero one one four zero. Okay. So make sure you test all the way. It's going to be. We need to move uh, more, take out the, the distance of the, how much the, the check is. Go to analyze distance. One one seven. So subtract one one seven from this number. Uh, we start setting up the slides. So we got a Z slide. Edit machine component. Let's pick up the slide. Underneath it, insert machine component. Y slide. Let's pick up the slide. Insert X. Z, Y, everything. Okay, next slide. Okay, so now under, underneath it, we need to insert this component. Start. Right. So let's. Pick up the whole thing. Okay. Spindle for the dart. Okay. Now on the X slide, we need to find out the same thing the distance, how much from here to here. Axis. V axis with respect to Z is a linear and C axis. So from uh, the initial distance, the machine assembly comes in at uh, from the uh, machine zero to where it's sitting right now, six eighty eight. So we will say 
it's rather six eighty eighties. Period on minus fifty. Minus fifty. Make sure you take it out. It's going the wrong way. So it's gonna be Okay. Give it a zero. You already got a spindle, three slide, X and Y, insert axis. axis, let's do it X, linear is the axis, okay, let's do it insert. Next slide. Give it a three forty. Okay. Two slides. Okay. So eight axes. Okay. Very axis. Okay. X So now we need to set up a junction for a turret. Very mission component. Let's give it a turret rotation. Okay. Rot. Okay, so now here to pick it up, say we need the center, it's point, we need an X point, we need an Y point. So we'll give it a Okay, we have two points. One. Pick up one more circle. Okay, so we got two circles. Yeah. So now we do the same thing for Y. Let's give it a point here. Okay. Let's give it a so we need to rotate around the X insert axis. Oops, something even is there, set it up right. Let's see the nice importance we did so.